For much of the day, regular customers of the Boba Guy store at 19th Street and Mission walked up to the doors only to find them locked and temporarily closed signs in the windows. The store has been closed since early last week after employees told us everyone was either fired or suspended. None of us like wanted to leave immediately if there was like some hope here. I feel like if you would have just listened to us, I feel like none of this would have happened. Madeline Urso and Ashley Osorio Paredes are among several employees I've communicated with about what they say are deteriorating relations with the leaders of the company. During the summer's heat wave, they raised concerns about working without air conditioning. Just a couple weeks ago, they raised concerns about work hours being cut back. That's when they say grumblings about forming a union started. And last Monday, Urso posted information about unions on a work communications thread. They wanted to shut it down as quickly as possible. The next day, she was fired. In response, her co-workers posted signs in the store window accusing Boba Guy's leadership of union busting. Shortly after that, San Francisco police were called by managers, and Urso says all the rest of the store's employees were suspended without pay. Urso also claims she and other employees have now learned their managers may have been recording their work conversations. She showed me a handwritten note on her termination letter that reads in part, Madeline's comments listed here, along with other commentary documented in video, are in direct violation of Boba Guy's code of ethics. That has raised privacy concerns among the employees and could raise legal concerns. We never knew that there was audio recording and none of us ever signed um, a waiver saying that there was audio recording. In a lengthy statement, Boba Guy's co-founder Bin Chen denies allegations that the company was union busting or regularly monitoring employee conversations, instead saying they reviewed the video because of a cash shortfall and at the time observed inappropriate conduct for which they took corrective action. They also say they're closed due to a security issue. Urso disputes that and says she's seeking legal guidance about what to do next. What rights do we have? What rights were violated? What, like... What is just kind of like scummy, unethical behavior versus illegal, you know? Meanwhile, the Boba Guy's flagship store in the Mission remains closed, and there's no word on when it will reopen. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.